to our program Smiling in Stockholm. Our experience is about city and museum. Now let's go to Vicky, our colleague, that talk about the Nordic Museum with the, our first guest. Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm here with Olga and uh, we will be talking about visiting the Nordiska Museum. So, Olga, you visited the Nordiska Museum yesterday, correct? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to visit this museum? Um, I, I wanted to visit this museum because I, want, uh, I wanted to see how uh, live the Swedish uh, people. I wanted to know about mm -hmm. the everyday life of Swedish people. Did you like it? Yes, I like it very much. What impressed you the most in this museum? I was impressed by the everyday life of the end of the 19th century, uh, the furniture, the decoration of the houses, uh, the la table, the toys, and uh, all the life of uh, this area. Thank you, Olga. Now we want to welcome our friend Ruta from Estonia, who wants to tell us something about Skansen, the famous Stockholm's open-air museums. We had a really great opportunity to visit Skansen during the whole day. So we saw not only wooden houses and history of five uh, century of Sweden, but we also could participate uh, in educational activities. And it was really great opportunity for us. And uh, in this open air museum, what uh, is your favorite place? I liked uh, very much to visit uh, Sami summer camp where I met a very nice lady, Gunild, and she told me about the history of Sami people who lived in four different countries in Norway, Sweden, uh, Finland, and Russia, and moved from uh, north to south with animals, families, and uh, she uh, explained how uh, Sami women uh, cook, how they produce handicraft uh, materials, so it was really great opportunity to learn about uh, Sami people there. Now, Ruta, would you like to add something about the final concert we saw yesterday? Oh yes, at four o'clock uh, it was really very big concert for families and uh, local people with children came to this concert. It was a rap concert and it was actually unexpected for me because I thought that Skansen is more about uh, folk music, uh, but uh, people enjoy this concert very much and me also <laughs> enjoy together with people. Thank you very much, Ruta. Thank you. And now let's go to Vicky, who is with another guest. Hi again. I'm here with Effie. Effie, which museum did you visit? I visited the Vasa Museum. And uh, why did you choose to visit the Vasa Museum among all the others? Because I had heard that it was the most uh, visited uh, museum in Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. What did you like in this museum? Uh, I liked it uh, because uh, it is unique. It uh, displays uh, the only, almost fully intact uh, 17th century uh, ship that was salvaged after sinking. Mm -hmm. um, you have the chance to see the, to view the sea from six different levels, and you can see the exhibits that expand to on the history of Sweden. Did you enjoy this visit? Oh yes, I enjoyed it uh, very much. Uh, and uh, it was a unique ex experience and uh, I would uh, suggest any tourist to visit. Thank you, Effie. Thank you. And now the weather forecast. Good afternoon, the weather for tomorrow. In North and in Europe, it's cloudy, but it's getting better in uh, the afternoon. In Central Europe, it's raining and uh, in uh, in southern Europe, it's uh, uh, sunny, but uh, uh, be prepared for showers. Thank you very much, Annalisa. Our next guest is Giuseppino from Italy, Welcome. who's here to tell about something about the Stockholm's uh, transporta si transportation system. Okay. I mean, I come from Bologna, that is uh, much more smaller than Stockholm, and I like the public transport in Stockholm because it's well uh, organized. The, you can change from the tram to the bus, from uh, the underground to the ferry easily, and uh, um, is, uh, you can reach every place that you want. And what are the differences between transport in your town and here in Stockholm? 
The, the main uh, difference is that in Bologna, the transport is just on the bus, and uh, this isn't a good thing for uh, the pollution, especially during the summer, like uh, in this uh, year, or a hot summer like this year. So I really like the transport here. Giuseppina, you told us you took almost all means of transportation here in Stockholm, from ferry to bus to the underground, light railway and tram. But which is the one you like best, you prefer? I really like the, um, the underground because I like the way in which they decided to leave the, um, the, the station and the tunnels because they look like it are a mixture between something that is natural, not built by men, but in the same time I can feel safe, so I really like that. Okay, thank you, Giuseppina. Thank Bye. you. And now we are going to, to have our third uh, guest, that is Anna Malia from Finland. Welcome, Anna Malia. Thank Welcome. You. Uh, we know that uh, yesterday afternoon you have spent some time in two suburbs of uh, Stockholm. Yes. What uh, do you think about it? Uh, they were two totally different kind of suburbs. The other one was Enschede, or the name could be Gamla Enschede or Enschede Gord, which uh, is from <coughs> 1930s, and then the other one, Högdalen, which is from the 1950s. And in Shede is um, there are wooden houses, and in Högdalen there are concrete buildings located. Anna Maria, you told us about the physical structure of these suburbs, but what about people living in? Um, Originally in Enschede there were workers living in these buildings, but nowadays there are kind of well-off people living in these beautiful houses with beautiful gardens. Uh, in Högdalen there are kind of uh, ordinary people and immigrants and Swedish people living here. And uh, what is the relationship between immigrant people and Swedish people now? Uh, from what I could um, observe yesterday, I think that the relationship is quite good nowadays, that there are a lot of immigrants and Swedish people living together in Palmi. Okay, thank no. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And for now is all. Thank you for the attention and goodbye everyone. Thank Everybody. you and goodbye.